if you want to learn how to use TradingView, I'm about to teach you how. Initially, when you sign up to TradingView, you get a boring, old, not very aesthetic, not very easy to read chart like this. This chart is not clear to me. Patterns don't pop out and I don't like it. So let me take you through the process, at least what I do to level this all up. Let me, let me, uh, uh, let me add a little bit of spice to that. First thing I will do is take the color theme and make it dark. Already, that is much nicer. The background, we don't want gradients. We want a solid background. That's what I prefer. A few minutes later. What we've done so far is we've cleared out all the noise and we've made a clear chart. Now what we want to do is get rid of the green and red. There's a particular reason I really don't like the green and red on a chart. And that's because, well, when I show you green, what do you think? Green normally means go, green means good, green means nature, green means positive, green means yay, I'm making money. All of these are emotional attachments which we do not need in our trading. And now take red. Red means stop on the traffic lights. Green is go, red is stop. Red means danger. Red is the color of blood. Red is the color of panic. Red is all encompassing negative green is all encompassing positive so what we don't want is when the price is going up to feel euphoric and great and when the price is going down to feel terrible like we're in danger like we're bleeding out all of these are things we want to avoid so yeah i like to change this up now how i like to change it up is i want to make these black and white so I'll show you how I do it. And I have a little bit of a touch to uh, give them a little more character. I think it makes them look quite um, more aesthetic, a lot nicer than black and white. Because remember, we're staring at these charts like day in and day out. Um, you want them to look as nice as possible or as nice to look at as possible. It's just, trust me, after thousands of hours, it's quite nice to, you know, be proud of that end result. Really like what you're seeing. A few minutes later. Have a bit, little bit of a personal touch is really fun with this sort of thing. Make it your own. Um, put a slight twist here or there. But the key things are get rid of as much noise as you can. Anything you don't need should not be on your chart. And then also get rid of any colors that give you emotional reactions when something happens. Now, the tools I like to use are firstly the Fibonacci retracement. And now look over here. Do you see the star? I click on this star. And you'll see why I'm doing this in a second. Because as soon as I click on that star, you'll see that this over here popped up. Horizontal raise, horizontal lines, long positions, short positions, price range, big fan of the brush, rectangle as well. Perfect. So now you can see some primary tools over here. Right. So let's get up this Fibonacci retracement tool. That's the first one. I clicked on it by clicking this button because now we've got our favorites tab and that makes it very easy to get to our favorite tools. Then double click this and let's change this up. Use one color. Let's go for black, lovely. Um, background can disappear because we don't need that. And we can get rid of any levels we don't like. The basic ones you want are zero to one and all the ones in between. And oh, also I like to get rid of that line, the trend line, perfect. And suddenly we have much clearer, much nicer, nicer Fibonacci levels to use. And to use them, you simply click on the tool now, and then you go from here, to here, and you've got Fibonacci levels. You can also get rid of any of the ones you don't like. Say you're specifically looking for 382 retracements, you untick all the ones you don't like, and suddenly this whole thing is designed to find 382 retracements. Let's take a look at the top of this move down to the bottom, and of course the 382 level is kind of beautiful. It always ends up falling somewhere beautifully in line with the price data. Next, horizontal raise. I really like these because I don't need this level to go further back than that. I want to know where my argument starts and then what data points are incorporated afterwards. So right now you can see going from here we have 12k as a key level. Sometimes I might want to use a horizontal line and you can do that with alt H keys or you can click on this over here and we get a whole line now. If you want to learn how to do this yourself, if you're wondering how I'm drawing these lines or why I'm drawing these lines, well I've got a free course in the description below that can help you out. The brush. This is a cool one because once you get to using it, it can be really helpful. So you just click on the brush tool. You can use this to kind of highlight tops and lows and get an idea for a trend. Here you can see I've drawn a pretty clear uptrend going up, going up. Beautiful. And then the last thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to get indicators up on your chart. 
So you see this button up here, which says indicators, the mouse is on it right now. You click on that and then you type in whatever indicator you want. And now we've got two moving averages on the chart as well. You can use whatever colors you want and whatever thickness styles, uh, basically whatever suits you here. And then you can also hide them from your chart pretty easily by clicking the hide button over there and the hide button over there. If you want volume back on your chart, you can do the same thing. Let's get volume. There we go. Now we've got some matching volume as well. You can also save your charts and layouts over here. Rename, we'll call this YouTube tutorial layout. Perfect. And there you have everything you need to set up your own trading view. Uh, this is all made with the free features, so you don't need a paid account for it. If you want a paid account, I've got links in the description below. Also got links to free courses, free education, my Twitter, whole bunch of stuff to help you become fantastic traders and investors. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you all get crazy cool trading views set up. Um, yeah, and if you do set up some cool trading views, uh, do a tweet about it. Tweet me your unique trading view setup, a uh, twist on this, and I'll make sure to respond on Twitter if you do. Guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much.